It's that special time of the year. Homecoming is almost here, which means it's time to take a look at this year's homecoming candidates. Cooper went out and talked to the candidates. Let's check them out. We the best music. Another one. Telekinesis. Okay, mine would be shape shifting because it just makes every other superpower just irrelevant. If I got any superpower, <clears throat> I would pick invisibility. If I wanted to be invisible, <laughs> I could turn it into a chameleon. I would fly. If I wanted to fly, I could turn into like a pigeon or something. It's just it's just like the all-around package. Ryan Reynolds. Mine's definitely Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Lil Uzi. I would say my top one's probably Rachel McAdams, but close behind Kristen Bell. I'm really into like the moms of Hollywood. Alexandra Daddario. Mine would be Jennifer Aniston. You ever seen the movie Just Go With It? She looks great in it. Watch it. Watch it. What you been waiting on this whole time? Probably Mr. McAllister. <laughs> um, I think I look exactly like Tatiana Schaefer. Some people say I look like Miss Averill. I mean, I can I can definitely see it. I think I look the most like Mr. Jack Figs. Um, I was told I look most like Mrs. Averill. Um, I've been told I look like Mrs. Anderson. I'm gonna go with Mr. Schmidt. He's just a laid back dude. Pretty funny. Probably Mr. Harris because. He like goofs around a lot and he is really, really, really sarcastic. Um, Miss Averill because she's kind of like free spirited. She's really cool. Love the gal. I think I, my personality is most like Amy Riley. And I just think that's because she's always upbeat and happy. Talk about that. <laughs> I think, you know, I have my own unique, different per personality, but if I had to pick a faculty member that matches my personality, I would say Mrs. Aliker because she's always happily and bubbly and I would say I'm like that too. Or Mr. Monaghan because he's a cool dude and I kind of consider myself a cool dude but yeah. Um, I sleep with my eyes half open so I don't know where like, one of those eye masks go because it looks really creepy. Well, I have two extra bones in the bottom jaw of my mouth. Um, I can sing the ABCs backwards. I am a muscle hamster. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H D F E D C B A. Um, something interesting about myself: I can clap with one hand. I know Morse code. Oh, okay. Good one. Oh. Why didn't the toilet paper cross the road? Why? It got stuck in a crack. Why does a moon rock taste better than an earth rock? Because it's a little meatier. <laughs> uh, what do you call a twitching cow? Beef jerky. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know that carrots are good for your eyes? You never see a rabbit wearing glasses. What is the longest word in the dictionary? Smiles, because there's a mile between the S's. <laughs> wow, so many great people running. Definitely. Now for your news. Today is the last day to turn in outside date forms to Miss Varner or Miss Naylor in the front office. The Art Club is having Life Drawing Night one Thursday a month from 6 to 7.30 in room 901. The first session is this Thursday. There is a lot of t-shirts for sale. Leadership students are selling its Be Nice Time shirts, Pay the Bank, and Bring Your Receipt to Amanda Small. Spear Club is selling Viking Pride shirts, Pay the Bank, by October 10th and Take Your Receipt to Miss Geis. Senior Women's shirts are being sold, Pay the Bank, and Bring Your Receipt to Reagan Bond. Lastly, homecoming shirts are being sold during lunch. Logan Elementary Spark Club needs volunteers for Wednesday afternoons from 4 to 5 in the Logan Library. Congrats to Cole King and Caden Fox for doing well in the recent debate. The Viking Brew is now hiring. Volunteers get free coffee. So, I mean, why wouldn't you do it? 
Ever feel like making a flag? Well, here's your chance. The FABC is inviting all students to design a flag for them. The winner gets a hundred bucks. We all remember going to the zoo growing up. Why not take a trip down memory lane and join the Topeka Zoo Youth Council? The group is dedicated to planning events to promote youth attendance. I'll be back with sports after this quick commercial break. It is Homecoming Spirit Week. Wednesday's favorite holiday day. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Thursday is Kindergarten Picture Day. And Friday is Hawaiian Day. I'm Cameron and you're watching SVTV. Award-winning author Neil Schusterman will be coming to Seaman High School on Thursday, October 11th at 10.45 to 11.45 a.m. He has written many books including the Unwind Distillogy, the Skin Jacker Trilogy, and the National Book Award winner Challenger Deep. If you would like to attend the author visit and learn more about Mr. Schusterman, complete the sign-up form linked in Schoology. The Powder Puff football game is coming up on October 13th. Boys cheer and girls play. Talk to Mrs. Olson if you're interested. Girls golf is crushing it. They're winning another team medal. They took third, which means they will be able to play in the regional tournament next Tuesday. Both girls and boys cross country play second in their varsity and JV competitions. They will be playing this Saturday for the Topeka City Championship at Saturday North. Make sure to go out and support them. The girls' tennis also plays in the Centennial League Tournament. Here's the listings. That's all for sports, Spikes. Now let's head over to see my boy Josh with the weather. Well, Vikes, it is October, and you know what that means? It could snow as soon as later this month. For example, last year it snowed on Halloween, so we are tracking that possibility, but not anywhere near today because it's very warm out there today and we continue with that very warm weather tomorrow, but the difference, it's a little bit more windy heading into tomorrow with gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour and then some much cooler weather is on the way for Thursday that goes along with the storm chance. Let's take a closer look at this frontal boundary that's going to set up here. This is mainly a stationary front, but it could wiggle a little bit to the north, maybe drift to the south. And depending on exactly where this is, it's going to focus the best chance for showers and thunderstorms. But the bottom line is that there is the potential for several rounds of showers and thunderstorms all the way from Wednesday night through Monday and possibly even further than that. So what that means is that we're going to have to be keeping a very close eye on your homecoming forecast, not only for the bonfire Thursday night, the parade Friday, but also the game heading into Friday night. But for now, here's your SVTV 7-day forecast. You can see... That we do hold on to those 80s through Wednesday, but then it just turns into a roller coaster ride with 80s changing to 60s, back to 80s, back to 60s, and then perhaps some more tranquil weather heading into the second half of the weekend and early next week. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today. Make sure to support the cross country team this weekend. And get ready to go crazy the night before at homecoming. But as always, stay classy.